first and foremost, I know drug trafficking, a lot of it's done on foot. Um, a lot of people, because a lot of drug dependent people will walk up to a house or to a car and buy drugs. So first thing I do is I go over to my class and I just want people. So I eliminate all the car noise. So now I just have the people that go through the scene in, in the 24 hour span of time. And I'm actually watching that in 9 minutes and 44 seconds. So I figure out, now the best, the next thing I want to do is where do these people go the most? So I use the pass. The pass. And right then and there, I have my drug deals in seconds because there's the frequency meter right there and I can see the pass. So these two houses were in concert. And we did search warrants on these later. But I also want to go, just for my own edification, how many people just go to that little door, like right there, mm. every day? How many people go into that intersection? And at this time, because I went a little higher, it's 400 because they cross underneath here too. So you can see every one of these people walking and all these people are going and the car gets going. are going right to that. Look at that. Does that look like a regular house deal or does that look like a drug market? Mm. It's a drug market. How long did that take me to do? That took me a minute. What would you have done otherwise? Sat outside, the old school way. I used to go out at 4 in the morning with a sleeping bag of granola bar and instead of binoculars, sit on a rooftop and call on drug deals. And then when the sun came up, they, when I could find a way to evac me, they would come get me and pull me out. And then we would try to start ripping customers. That eliminates that whole thing. That's the, the 32 hours, the man hours that I've just eliminated from this process. We go right to ripping two or three customers for positive results. Yep. We do a search. We did a search one.